So the other day I ran the Vanguard Captain on a wheelchair 15 200 times and counted those loot results. It's rumoured now that there has been a stealth nerf lowering legendary drop rates. Looking back at these results though and seeing how I only got 1 in 200 runs on a world tier 15, it does seem a little iffy considering on a world tier 5 when farming the demo I'll get 5 times this many. But even so, this is the full game and things may have changed. Well I wanted to test the loot rewards from a world tier 1 versus a world tier 15 to see the differences and see if they are major. So back I went to it guys, 200 runs of the Vanguard Captain on a world tier 1, the results are coming up. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So looking back at the results from the world tier 15 200 runs of the Vanguard Captain, we can see within 1 hour and 30 odd minutes I got 128 rares which resulted in 9360 iron and 10176 leather. I also got 169 epics which resulted in 2197 titanium. When added to the titanium I got from the boss I had a grand total of 3719. And well guys, from 200 runs of the Vanguard Captain on a real tier 15, I got one legendary. Just one legendary. So yeah, craziness. So let's move on to the results of 200 runs of the same boss on a real tier 1. And while I did this much quicker, landing it in just over an hour, as obviously the boss is just an insta kill. I did have to take my armor off though, because the enemies couldn't kill me. Craziness. So loot wise here from the 200 runs on a world tier 1 of the vanguard captain I got 48 green gear pieces which resulted in 1344 iron and 2020 leather. I also got 177 rare gear pieces which when dismantled turned into 10302 iron and 15124 leather. In total from the 200 runs I also got 97 epics which for a tier 1 was surprising the thing is on a real tier 1 epics dismantle into only one titanium so yeah I got 97 titanium for my troubles here combine that with the average of 2 per run on the captain on a real tier 1 I had a total of 244 titanium for this run now the question I know you want to know is did I get a legendary and the answer is, as you'll expect, no, no I didn't. If I only got one on 200 runs on a world tier 15, I didn't in reality expect one on a world tier 1, but I will state, they do exist. Now if we compare the loot, it's clear that on a world tier 15, you just get way more materials, way more epics, and I mean we got one legendary on a world tier 15 against none here, but I feel on a world tier 1 I could have gone for another 4 or 5 hours and still not got a single legendary. But people, I know there's a question many of you may want to know and that is, do legendaries even exist within the loot pool on a world tier 1? I can confirm that they do, even though they are crazy rare right? it does indeed happen. So yes people, a world tier 1 versus a world tier 15. As you guessed, it sticks to a world tier 15, even though in terms of legendary loot they are crazy uh, either way, but for materials and other good shiz, world tier 15 is just far far better. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived, if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe, and if you never want to miss a video or upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.